konnichiwa, and welcome to Tsuki no Ame, where we try Japanese sweets and treats. Today we have two treats to try from Boxu. So the first, this is the Pinomi Deep Chocolate, and if you've been on the channel for a while, you'll probably recognize the name if you're new. Uh, welcome, thank you for joining us. Uh, so these are something we've had a few times. I think we've had three different variants. I think this might be our fourth. I could be wrong though. But it's basically like, I don't know, in some respects they kind of remind me of cream puffs but with a lot more pastry and a lot stiffer pastry. They're supposed to be like little mini pie tart things, um, but they're very small. It's uh, a little interesting. I also have to say, I feel so weird saying, calling it pie, the way that they have it spelled in the culture guide. <laughs> because that is not how you would pronounce those letters in Japanese. But uh, when we've gotten them in the past, we usually got the box. And that is actually how it's written to be pronounced on the box is pie, uh, spelled P-A-I. So <laughs> I'm not sure why they changed it for the culture guide, but they did so here we are. Uh, we're also trying, this is the Canalse. I hope I'm saying that right. That is very much not a Japanese word. Uh, Noto chocolate cake. So as far as I can tell, this is one of those where, you know, name is kind of on the package. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of cake. It's supposed to be uh, very fluffy in texture with a and I quote, intensely rich chocolate flavor we are going to see. Uh, fortunately, though, I have to say, um, I don't know, it feels like baked goods. We've had a better track record with chocolate than chocolate chocolate. Just because, you know, being incorporated in bypasses the whole texture issue, which is where a lot of the problems come in. So I am optimistic. I am looking forward to this. So with all that in mind, let's get started. Itadakimasu! Alright. <clears throat> so yeah, they usually have a bit of glazing on the top, and then the bottom you can see where they injected the chocolate. You can kind of see why I'm getting, I, I don't know, maybe you can see why I'm kind of getting cream puff vibes with just the way that it's laminated on the side. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Let me know if you if you agree or if you think I'm crazy in the comments. Honestly, I feel like it's helped by the fact that I have adjusted my expectations with Pinomi during my time on the channel. And what I mean by that is there is always a lot more of the crust and not enough of the filling for me. And this time it didn't feel too bad, but at the same time I could tell it was about the same. And I feel like it's because I've gotten used to their balance. It's not the balance I prefer, but I've gotten used to it. Um, I feel like the filling is a touch on the waxy side, but not nearly as bad as some of the other chocolate we've gotten. It is good. It is chocolatey. Just uh, because we've gotten several of these before, you know, I kind of can't help but think of the other ones that we've gotten. And I feel like we've gotten better ones. Mostly because we've usually gotten some sort of fruit flavor. And the Japanese snack and candy makers are just so good with fruit flavors. They're mind-blowingly good. I will pretty much take any fruit flavor Japanese treat over anything produced locally with very very few exceptions because they're so 
so good at it. And it, by very few exceptions, I mean direct comparisons. You would have to do direct this thing locally versus this Japanese treat for me to be able to make it. It's pretty much always the Japanese treat. So it's not bad. I would have preferred one of the fruit ones <laughs> just because again, chocolate versus fruit, the fruit tends to be supreme. So moving on to our, I know I'm not saying it right. Can I say Noto chocolate cake? Feel free to correct me in the comments. I do not know how this is supposed to be pronounced. I'd probably actually do better if they gave it to me in Katakana. But they didn't, at least not where I can easily read it. I do not have this open wide enough. This thing is nice and thick. It's really soft and moist to the touch. I did not expect it to be such a thick slice. I like it a lot. It is super soft, it is very chocolatey, it is perfectly moist, it is delicious. I do have to admit, I, I love a good chocolate cake. It is a bit on the dense side, which I think works in this case because it is still really, really soft and moist. It is really good, it is really tasty. I like it a lot. <laughs> Go to Sosama. So to recap, we did our Pie no Me deep chocolate, which, you know, not bad. Pretty standard for Pie no Me. Um, I do have to say, you know, if you have the option between... The chocolate's not bad, but if you have the option between chocolate or fruit, go with the fruit. Unless it's a fruit you really don't like, like I'll take that over the peach, you're probably... The, the fruit's probably going to be pretty amazing. We also tried our... And I'm sorry for butchering this every single time I say it. The Kanase Noto Chocolate Cake. Really good. Really rich. Really soft. Really moist. Really perfect. Also, I love chocolate cake. It's really hard for me to go wrong with. If it's made well, I'm probably going to like it. And this was amazing. I am a big fan. Also, the packaging is really, really pretty. I love the packaging. It is something I really tend to enjoy about these on the channel is we've gotten some really either beautiful or really uh, fun and cute packaging. I really enjoy that aspect. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. If you like my shirt, the link for that is down in the description below. And please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Johnny.